this, along with the Lorentz force law, describes all of electricity and magnetism. So powerful and so amazing that Einstein said, this is so beautiful, it must be true, and he based relativity on these. Okay, here are Maxwell's amazing equations. The first one that we covered is called Gauss's law. And it's like this. The integral, and this here, this circle, it's the same darn circle, but it means something different. This means a closed surface. That's what that symbol there means. It's a closed surface. By the way, how do you tell if a surface is closed? It's got to have two things. Two places you can be. If a surface is closed, you only have two choices of where you can be. Inside it or outside it. So a closed surface has an inside and outside. So this means for Gauss's law closed surface, it's E, the E field, dotted on dA vector equals, anybody remember this? Qn over epsilon naught. That's Gauss's law. That is number one. The next equation is very simple and uh, it's the same thing. That's a closed surface. This one is called Gauss's law in magnetism. What is the total magnetic flux? Any closed surface has got an inside and outside. Magnetic field lines go in and then they, they have to come out. So it's going to be zero. So this is called Gauss's law in magnetism. Uh, and all this says is there, the bottom line of this one is that there are no magnetic monopoles. Now, hopefully you guys will find a magnetic monopole, and then we can dump this one. Uh, it actually becomes way more uh, uh, symmetrical if you find a magnetic monopole. This gets to become Q magnetic in over epsilon or over, actually it'll probably be mu naught in there. I'm not sure what happens, uh, to be honest. Uh, right now, there'll be another constant. It'll be some other, uh, it'll be the magnetic charge there. Uh, probably, my guess is times mu naught, but I honestly don't know. I haven't looked into it. Okay, um, next up is, so those are Gauss's law. Uh, this one is, the next one we have is Ampere's law. This, unfortunately, this circle means a closed loop. Why they made the same symbol to mean two different things, I do not know. This is a path integral, meaning you integrate all over a path. And this is that B dotted on, I'm going to use the AP equation version. I like DS because that always reminds me of an arc, but they use DL, so we're just going to use that. B dot DL equals... Now, let's see if you guys can remember this. This is the, the one that's pretty messy. Uh, I'm going to show you two versions of it. There's, this is the nice clean version, mu naught times I plus ID, where ID is the displacement current. That's the nice, uh, the clean version. You can also write that as mu naught times I plus mu naught times this is the dis yeah this is the displacement current it's epsilon naught times d phi e dt and so what this tells you is that and by the way this is called right there this section right there is called the displacement current it's not a current it's a changing electric flux um this basically tells you that a magnetic field may be created by a current or by a changing electric flux. The last one, last of Maxwell's equations, is this one. And this is Faraday's law. And that the EMF, so this is a, another closed loop here. This is E dot DL. And I like DS, but the AP folks like DL, so we'll use that. E dot DL is the negative rate of change, negative D phi B dt. 
Now, if you guys find some magnetic monopoles, then we probably could have magnetic current, but at this point, we don't have that. If we find magnetic monopoles, all these equations become much more uh, symmetrical. This says you can create an EMF, a changing flux, changing phi B creates an electric field or a, uh, an EMF. I'll do it like that, EMF. Okay, sweet. Now, th this is almost everything that describes all of magnetism. There's one more law that is called the Lorentz force law, but we've already covered it. The we just didn't call it the Lorentz force law. The Lorentz force law says that the net force on a charge, the net force on a charge equals, what is the electric force on a charge? Q times what? E. QE. QE, that's a vector, this is a vector too, plus What's the magnetic force on a charge? QV cross B. With this law, we have completed the description of everything that is known about electricity and magnetism. Gauss's law describes how charge creates electric fields. Gauss's law and magnetism just describes how there are no magnetic monopoles. The magnetic flux through a closed surface must be zero. If magnetic field lines go out of it, they must come back in. Ampere's law general form describes how current and changing electric flux creates magnetic fields. And Faraday's law describes how changing magnetic flux creates E fields or EMFs. Add that to the Lorentz force law, you have a complete description of everything we know about electricity and magnetism. It all fits on this page. It's amazing. And even more amazing, Einstein used this to derive relativity. It's all here. It's amazingly powerful. It is Maxwell's amazing equations.